tackling Antonio Nieves. Getting your instruction in the dressing room and just have a good, clean fight. Listen to my command. Protect yourself all the time. Good luck. Japanese sensation. Aoya Inoue making his American debut and the sixth defense of his WBO eight stone three oh, crown against oh, Cleveland's oh, Antonio Nieves. Six years older, more experience in terms of fights, but nowhere has he been near this level. What can he bring to the table, Nieves? That might trouble Inoue, who starts a big favorite here to defend that crown successfully and get into the unification battles that uh, everybody wants to see. Tries a right hand early, grabbing hold of the center of the ring. Looking for a very fast start here, in a way. Yeah, Nieves, I think, felt the power of those shots already. He come out, tried to take center of the ring, and in a way, just let a couple of shots go that only landed on the gloves. But straight away, you could see the power, the dynamite he carries in either hand. This is a big opportunity for Nieves, but... It's going to be a difficult one. He's got a huge knockout ratio for someone at this weight, Darren. He has indeed, and uh, you can see why already. I mean, it's not just with one hand either. You can see he throws big left hooks, big right hands. He's very confident, and Nieves definitely has felt the power ready to be circling and backing up like he is already. Nieves hasn't fought at super flyweight. He's been further super bantam, so the heavier weights. But he's uh, said he's made it fine. Looks chiseled and in good condition. The question is, is he classy enough to be able to deal with Inoue, who already looks strong and skillful, that big, long jab. Great range, too. Yeah, the accuracy is brilliant, isn't it? He's found the timing straight away here, working behind that jab, trying to set up that big right hand. And of course, that left hook that we know he can throw to the body and to the head. But again, ramming that jab in. Nieves feeling the weight of that shot. And you just worry that Nieves coming down in the weight like that, will he be able to maintain the pace through the 12 rounds? Tries to creep an uppercut through the high guard of Nieves. The knees dip definitely, uh, the knees definitely dipped after that uppercut from in a way, the lovely shot. The repertoire he has is fantastic. Great variation, head, body, hooks, uppercuts. It's a class act. Stalking and threatening. Nieves just starting to hang with him and try and get through these early rounds. Not a big puncher himself. Nine knockouts. Ten seconds. Ten seconds. We're hoping the extra experience at the higher weights will help him. But it's a big opening round for Inoue. The corner of Antonio Nieves, run by Joseph Delgoy. He's been with him a long time. Alex Cooper, Cameron Russell in there. It's a great story. Works for a bank in Cleveland. Has to fit training in around his job. Got time off. Been staying away from home in a, a rented house, away from the family. Real tight team around, promoted by Salita Promotions. But all the attention and all the promotional backing with, of course, Naoya Inoue the champion from Japan in America to try and really get his name in lights. Really up against it here though, Adam. In a way, a fantastic fighter. He really, really is uh, well-rounded in everything he does. Quick hands, powerful, good variation. Yeah, showing good variety early on, isn't he? In a way, just taking the center of the rings, found his range well. He's looking 
for those shots to the body as well. We just saw him try and creep that left hook to the body, rounds the elbows of E. Nevis. Tag the monster now as a pro. As an amateur, he was 75 and 6 with 48 stoppage wins. So that power has carried him right the way through. Tries to go to the body of Nieves. Someone with limited amount of fights at this level. The ring craft is showing in there is fantastic. Holding the center of the ring, dictating the fight off of his good jab, but in between the shots, he keeps his hands high, moves his head, eliminates the risk of getting caught with anything himself. Nieves getting those gloves high and throwing back, though. Yeah, better stuff from Nieves. He's just started to land the jab himself, so maybe growing in confidence a little bit himself. He's obviously come with a game plan because he's keeping his hands nice and tight, trying to get Inoue on the counter, and that's good work to the body as well. From it's Nieves. A, it's very good work that from Nieves. Did well, body and head. The gloves so high, the peekaboo style. Just trying to weather that storm, but he's coming back with his own punches. And it's uh, good action again. The WBO title on the line in this one. In a way, he's quite happy just to take the shots on the gloves and fire back with quick counters. Yeah, that was a lovely lo little right-hand counter. This slips on the outside of N Nieves' jab and landed a good right hand, showing good boxing skills in here, in a way. Out of range with his own jab there. Great body shot. Really dug that in with a left hook. And he's hurt Nieves here. End of the second round. He's got 10 seconds, ten seconds to ten get seconds, through. Oh, and I don't know whether he thought the referee was going to step in there. But a bit of an experience from Inoue as he finishes the round in some style. There's the power. That's the problem for Nieves. Yeah. The night of the superflies in California. We've got a really good battle between Estrada and Cuadras. Now it's the turn of Naoya Inoue from Kanagawa in Japan, the 24-year-old in the black and yellow hair, the sparkling shorts and flashy boots, and the red, white, and blue of the American, Antonio Nieves, who was under fire and was hurt by a body shot at the end of the second. Yeah, he was, and a good right hand to the head went in as well from Oni Nieves, and, and I think he felt the weight of that one as well, so... Hopefully he's had a minute it was enough to recover in that round, but in a way demonstrating his power early on here. Setting everything up with shots to the body as well. That's where the uh, the trouble started for Nieves, was it was a great no left to the body, followed up with a right hand. Good work, really, really, really good work. And back on the jab now, showing that ring craft. And he's sort of experienced beyond his time, really. Well, he looks in control, doesn't he? In a way, just pushing forward and really picking shots at will. Just looks so strong in there. Well, they've moved him very, very quickly, fast tracking him into becoming a world champion. Only his sixth fight. He also had a wonderful win over Omar Navarez, a very, very good and long reigning champion in his own right. He destroyed him. They have enormous belief, the team around uh, in a way. And he's chasing a fight with Roman Gonzalez, as they all seem to have been doing these last few years. How does this guy compare? Well, I think he's certainly got youth and power on his side. Gonzalez has been there and been at the top for a long time. Many feel that he's ready for the taking now, Gonzalez. That he, he's the real star of the division, and he's the one that they all want to fight. But these, these young guns are coming through. Nieves trying to bravely fight back, but he just doesn't seem to have the firepower or the skills. And here comes Inoue again, almost driving through the guard. The punches just backing up Nieves, even though he's got his hands held high, Darren. Yeah, he's almost in survival mode already, Nieves. 
and, and you can understand why when you see the punches that are coming his way such variation he's such an accomplished such an accomplished boxer is in a way i mean very impressed but, but i think adam's right you know he's uh, uh, you know why he's landing the shots and they're only landing on the gloves but they're taking so much out of nieves yep physically he is uh, starting to tire early exactly. nieves That's and again caught those on the gloves but was backed up by the sheer force of Inoue's work and it's almost no hiding place for Nieves. This is great from Inoue. Some good stuff on it, but you can't stop, man. You got to keep it going. All right. A golden opportunity. We can't work that double. But the team have to be realistic. They know what they're up against. They potentially future pound for pound great. It's still early days. He's only in fight number 14, Naoya Inoue, but he is looking every bit a star performer here on his American debut. I wonder what Kalia is thinking watching this. Yafai also has emerged in the last year or so, undefeated in 22, defends his WBA crown on the big AJ Pulev card in Cardiff at the end of October. And it's just mouth-watering fights, unifications out there. Yeah, there is. And this is clever tactics from Inoue here, because what he's trying to do is trying to pull Nieves onto the shot so that he can land shots of his own. He's using a good boxing brain for somebody that's only had 13 contests. Come out with a bit more purpose, Nieves. He knows he's got to do something different. Trying to back in a way to the ropes trying to get some success that way got the crisper smoother boxing coming from in a way well you're right he's trying to get on the front foot because when he's being backed up that's where he looks his at his most vulnerable the others and he's really having a go here huge credit it's a big leap up in levels He's done nothing really, Nieves, to make you think there's a, any chance of an upset here, but he'll be hoping if he can survive a few rounds, and maybe the, the power starts diminishing slightly of Inoue, that he can have some success, and that natural weight advantage might come into play. Yeah, yeah I think that's all that he'll be hoping at the moment. There's a better shot from Nieves there, and he's trying to force the pace here. But you're right, Adam, in what you said. I think that, 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 that there's levels, and you can just see that these guys are just the levels apart at the moment. Eno Way looks like a world-class operator in there. But, Darren, it would be interesting to see Eno Way backed up and see the aggressor uh, under pressure and see how he copes. Yeah, I think it, it wouldn't be a bad tactic, really, mixing fire with fire, because he's coming up, coming off second best in the boxing department. And I think going back to Cal your fire, I think... He'd be at home rubbing his hands together at the prospect of these big fights because this this show this evening is really showcasing some big stars and uh, and people who didn't know of these fighters will do after tonight and the potential big fights for Cal. Yep, on HBO, on Sky, they're getting the uh, profile. In a way. On the front seconds, foot, not quite seconds. as successful in this fourth round. Hats Come off to Nievers for really standing with Inoue, but not making a dent in him. A blunt from the nose of Nievers. He's got to work so hard just to keep up. Yeah, that's that, that's the difference, Adam. I think that he's really gritting his teeth and giving it everything that he's got as early as the fourth round just to stay with Inoue. And Inoue just trying different things. Looks nice and relaxed. Now, for me, Inoue was just trying to draw Inevis on to, so that he could land some big shots. He was just trying something different there. Yeah. For, for me, I think Nieves won that round. I think he deserved it on work rate. He landed some, some decent shots there. Nothing that troubled in a way, but I think just through volume and, and, and giving it his all, 
I've given him that round. Yeah, I think he deserved the round on, on, on work great alone there. Nieves was trying everything he had, wasn't he? But just looked like he was boxing in top gear there. The family and friends uh, of Nari Inoue around him at ringside. His dad, Shingo, in the corner alongside Shiri Sakuma and Hideyuki Ashashi. That's a, a big group he's got. They've come over in their droves from Japan. But America's Antonio Nieves will be hoping to stun the super flyweight world. Decent force. And after the punishment he took in the first three, that's a uh, that's a real uh, hats off moment. He's doing okay in there, Nieves. How much did the last round take out of Nieves, though? I mean, he really did give it some trying to back in a way to the ropes and well, he may have spent quite a lot of energy in that last round and he's back on the ropes here body shots big thumping punches from in and he just looked down in his corner there just a glance the evers yeah i think going back to the third uh, fourth round i think that in way decided to box on the back foot and, and let him come forward trying to draw him onto the punches so i think there was a little bit of that as in Inevis was also trying to force it as well but i think that in no way was happy for him to come forward he's trying different things in there he's realized that didn't work and he's putting the pressure back on and a good body shot gone in there and Inevis felt the weight of that shot wicked left hook to the body that hurt him before Nieves and his trying to get his gloves down to protect that area and that's another Ooh. one and down he goes found the answer now has the monster from Japan is he gonna get out he'll want to this is the opportunity he's dreamt of his whole life Antonio Nieves but he's out of his depth it's the class here of Naoa Inoue and surely it's a matter of time yeah, we talked about that left hook to the body before he started, didn't we? We've seen him take so many of his opponents out with that shot, and that's the shot that's doing all the damage here. It's a terrible place to be when you hurt with a body shot and you've got a guy walking you down with a great repertoire of punches. You don't know where they're coming from. And he caught uh, in a way with a right hand who just shook it off and started coming at him again. How deflating is that as he tries another body shot and another one can the ever surat survive to the end of the fifth yeah relentless pressure here from in way he's just looking for that finishing shot he's looking for that left hook to the body there it is again 10 seconds 10 seconds to go those body shots really taking their toll and he never's done well there to get through that round. He's done very well to get through that round. Yeah, hats off uh, for trying to fight back. And he was uh, throwing some big bombs of his own. Not able, he landed one or two there, but in a way, in cruise control at the minute. Talking about the referee is going to have to stop it. Yeah, they're in desperate trouble already in that corner. The referee just gone over. I want you to do is the tight guard. Talking about the opportunity. I mean he's giving it his all. He just isn't good enough. No, and that's why that's the key shot from Eno Way that left hook to the body as we mentioned it before the contest started. He finds the range of that so well. He goes around the back of the elbows, lands the shot perfectly, and he's got incredible power real problems he's had are suffering from hand injuries probably because of that power in a way <laughs> absolutely for a little man he really does punch the eight stone three champion for the wbo and again trying to get those hooks under the tightish elbows of antonio nievers but finding the gaps from his speed and accuracy too in a way took the fourth off certainly didn't take the fifth off and he's putting the foot down on the pedal he'll want the stoppage and he'll want it soon yeah, yeah he's looking for it really loading up with those shots to the body isn't he i'm not sure it was a, a case of in a way 
taking the round off. I think the Evers give give it his all in the fourth and didn't really come up with much success. Though I give him the round on volume, it's not like he hurt in a way at all. And another uh, discouraging thing for for Nieves in that last round, he landed a couple of big shots and got no effect at all. In a way, in complete control here, just looking for that finishing shot. And you know what? Those body shots really creasing N Nieves up here. It's pitter patter stuff from Nieves, just trying to find somewhere to hide. Now shots to the chin, referee beginning to have a closer look. He puts his hands up, he says, come on then. The showmanship as well of Inouye as he looks for another crippling body shot. Really stalking his opponent now in a way. One thing he's not doing, he's not cutting the, cutting the ring off. He's sort of following Nieves around the ring. I'd like to see him cut the, cut the ring down, get Nieves backed up in a corner, then really let the shots go. Well, he's just looking for that one big shot, that finish. He knows he can hurt Nieves, and, he, and you just feel he's in complete control here, and he's looking for the sensational finish. He knows he's on the big platform, making his year's debut, and he's really looking to put a showcase on here, and he's making a little show of it, isn't he? Left hook to the chin, Nieves holds for the first real time, having backpedaled around the ring. He must be feeling this. Down from a body shot. Brave. Hands up. Brave, but really in survival mode now. Trying desperately to get out of the way of Inouye's attacks. This is where the referee and the corner do have to really start thinking about their man. Yep, he's almost being thrown around like a rag doll, isn't he now? The, the physical strength and that it. long training camp seem a long way away. And Inouye just marching around the ring doing as he wants bell goes and the others survives but he is just surviving that's all what are the corner going to do here and they're going to call it off that's a sensible compassionate decision from the blue corner from joseph del goy who saves his man he's got a smile on his face he had the opportunity of sharing the ring with potentially one of the greats of the next three or four years. This guy's 24. He has huge power. He has showmanship. And he has classy skills to go with it. Naoa Inouye makes it 14 out of 14. 12 by knockout. Retains his WBO title very emphatically and he's still just 24. Yeah, I, I said it before before the show even started that this this guy could be the one of the future. This, was, could, this could be the one that we see emerge as the best of them all and he proved there, he put on a great show. He tried a little bit of showmanship in there. He tried to entertain the fans, but most impressively, he picked his shots well. The body shots are unbelievable. And I thought, you know, all in all, that was a great performance. And I'm really glad that Nieves' corner pulled him out when they'd done because they realised that the guy was not going to win the contest. I think in the round just before he got stopped, he threw about two or three punches. And, and it was great corner work by Nieves' corner. It, and he lives to fight another day. But Eno Way, for me, looks sensational. Yeah, and I think you'll agree, Spencer. He's definitely going to fly on them pound Ladies pound and gentlemen, rankings. referee Dr. Lou Moret. After the indication from the corner of the challenger has to call a halt to the contest, the official time is the end of round six ruled by the referee T uh, ko the winner and still undefeated and still the reigning and defending wbo super flyweight champion of the world